It's your boy, Michael Darkshine. And welcome to this week's episode of Bars Weekly. Let's go. Man, nothing would require respect for the Stomp Down Killers movie. For there to ever be any sort of weird thing going on between Stomp Down Killers and Backstore would be absolutely ridiculous. So for us to ever even think of going against each other would be absolutely ridiculous. Sky the Ripper is an amazing MC. Retarded enough to say that I stole your style? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you delusional? I never even listened to one of your albums yeah. in my whole fucking life. What's up? It's your boy Michael Darkshine. Um, first off, um, I'm unsure. I'm unsure fully on what's happened to transpire this beef between Snack the Ripper and Mad Child. However, in all respect to both artists, I'm very happy to see it. The reason why I say that is because I find these days in hip-hop, uh, the fire and emotion has been put out by the mainstream media for the most part. And to see this beef between two major Canadian artists, you know what? Settling it in a traditional fashion like this, I like that. And it's um, something that's really sparked a lot of attention lately. So I figured it'd be, you know, something to speak upon as a Canadian supporter as well as a fellow artist as well. Now... I've been a fellow supporter of Mad Child since day one when he was first setting up the Bax War movement. Um, and since Snack the Ripper came out through Onyx and stuff like that, because I met Onyx uh, a couple of years before the, the, uh, him and Snack the Ripper, the rest of them were doing stuff with Snack and SDK movement. They came to Calgary and such. And uh, I remember them discussing how they wanted to do a movement in Canada. Even at one point, too, even Onyx was offering certain uh, prices to do with certain collabs and such like that, but it was totally out of my budget. But re regardless, the main thing is, is I've been a supporter of both sides for a good while now, and um, I want to talk about the first diss track that Snack the Ripper came out with. Um, you know, straight up that video, it was fire. Uh, he spoke on a lot of topics that many people felt about Mad Child for a while now. Uh, let's be honest. Um, whether the statement is true or not, you know. Uh, second, I found the video to be decent. Um, it was straight to the point. And, uh, you know, you can feel his aggression, which I found was really dope. As for bars, well, I found the punchlines were predictable, overly hyped, but still predictable. You know, it's one of those verses. It wasn't crazy punchlines or anything like that. It was just he was straight to the point. And, you know, and, and that can go both ways, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. It is what it is. All in all, it was a very nice diss track. And uh, here are parts of the song if you haven't heard it. Let's go. First off, let me say I ain't doing this for publicity. Listen to me, let me give these fans a little history. This faggot mad job thought it was smart to start dissing me. You just stepped in a puddle, I'm a spark of electricity. It ain't a mystery, the guys are sick. Telling your fans that you ain't high, but that's entirely fake. I hear the same shit from show promoters all the time. How you begging them for blows so you can cut another line? Yo, 57 shows and I'm back on the job. Had to wait five days to get this fat, ugly slob. I'm a worldwide legend, you irrelevant goof. Your artist Mercules is ten times better than you. And you're afraid to be yourself. No testicles, no backbone. Finish with the show, you put your spectacles back on. What's wrong with being yourself? You trying to change your image? Saying I've got hair plugs, what is your brain diminished? Now second, um, we discussed Mad Child. Like I found Mad Child's punchlines were also predictable. Yet it did have some fire. Uh, the aggression wasn't there as much that I'd like, but I do agree that his lyrics are about Snack the Ripper sounding like Onyx and stuff like that. I found those verses were dead on. Um, my personal thing about Mad Child's diss track, though, is strategically it could have used a music video. I mean, I don't know why he wasn't using a music video for it. The fact that he didn't come back with a music video I found to be a bit lazy. However, he might just might have felt that it was not really worth his time. I don't know the situation on that, but... Personally, I don't know why he wouldn't come back with a music video because he's obviously going to get less hits if he's doing a diss track with no music video. Either way, I hope to hear more and I do hope this becomes a KOTD event at some point. I also hope eventually that they do have a truce and keep setting the proper example of what raw hip-hop should be. On that note, I think besides the hyped up videos and decisions based on popularity or who's getting more views, the best way for this beef to be settled is in fact in the upcoming KOTD segment. I do believe that both sides, spitting face to face, would be the best way to settle this beef because there's no true way to actually show the extent of your skills than doing it raw like that. 
Doing music videos, you can you know prepare stuff and do this and that. Third, face to face, you're spitting the lyrics that you're feeling straight from the heart in front of everybody and straight up. That's like make it or break it right there on the spot. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's like all or nothing. So that's that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping KOTD gets in on this, and I hope that these two artists, you know what I mean, can actually uh, stand up to the plate and actually face off and keep it lyrical the way hip hop is meant to be. And uh, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and that's for that. Mad Child, as a fellow supporter, I'm telling you, bro, like you need to drop some videos quick time. I mean, Snack the Rippers already dropped another video uh, just a couple of hours ago, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's straight rapid fire, homie. Like, I mean, it's straight goods. I re you know, I respect both of y'all and everything like that, but I know you a lot more, Mad Child. I know you a lot more, you know what I mean? Personally, off and on the court type thing, you know what I mean? And like, yeah, man. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta come back with some videos, man. You know what I mean? Your fans are, are hoping to see it. Your supporters and everything else. So let's get it done, and let's get this beef situated. And uh, you know, hopefully, it goes down in Canadian history as one of the best battles. And uh, on that note, you know what I mean. Thanks to everyone for watching and supporting. And uh, I hope you guys can comment in the comments below um, and put your thoughts in. You know what I mean. And yeah, hope to see you next week. It's your boy Michael Darkshine, also known as Yardy Black, also known as Digi Hendrix 3000. Let's go.